Hey everyone, we're going to keep going on warehouse management and now we're going to get into bins. So we're going to stick with this uh, idea here of a warehouse. We're going to call it the North Warehouse. Uh, North Warehouse is going to be split into three parts. It's going to be the receiving, uh, the storage and shipping. And so basically we'll have, in this case, just one receiving bay that we bring in and in shipping we'll have one shipping bay uh, and these are going to be zones so this is zone receiving storage shipping and I'm going to call the bins as the same thing as the zone so it's going to be receiving bin that's just right here receiving bin and storage bin and shipping bin so we're calling the same thing and what we want to execute is a PO that gets received into the receiving and then gets put away into storage at least in this video and finally what we should do is uh, have an SO here that issue, issues a shipment which creates a uh, pick so this would be a pick here and this would be a put away so to actually get this setup is a little tricky inside the system um, and we need to set up like put away templates. We got to set up uh, the different types of zones, different type of bins and, and to make everything jive. Uh, and then there's a lot of little checkboxes that we can then configure things on. But I want to just get this part going right here so we can put away into storage and show you how it works with bins. And it makes a lot more sense with bins um, than it does without bins. So let's take a quick look. Okay, so let's take a look at the system. <clears throat> In the locations, I have added a new location uh, called the North location. Now in this North location, we've set up a lot of stuff. So it's pretty simple, but still it's quite a bit of setup. Um, we enabled, enabled directed put away and pick. And that, by default, puts on bin mandatory, requires sh shipment, put away, and pick. So you're pretty much forced to have all of that out if you're doing directed put away and pick. Um, and on top of that, what we did is we created zones, uh, just three zones, receiving, shipping, storage, and that's it. And we created bin types uh, for receiving, shipping, storage, and that's important because you have to qualify what each bin does. So this bin receives this or these type of bins ship and these for storage, we can put the way into them and we can pick from them. So this kind of sets up the scheme of things. Uh, and if I go into the actual bins right here, I just created three bins. Receiving, shipping, storage. Just those three. Uh, so it makes it very simple. Now, also, we need to create a put away template. And I've created that. Uh, the put away template actually is an intelligent form um, which specifies how we put away things. And I created a very simple one. First, we try to find the fixed bin. We'll explain later what that means with the same item. Then we'll find a floating bin with, uh, which is empty, and then we'll just uh, release everything and, uh, and find any bin available. So let's just uh, get out of this and run through a quick purchase order to show you how the same process as we did before works with this. So if I go into a purchase order, I'm going to create a new one to the Fabricum. In this case, uh, we are going to the north location. So I'll go in here and uh, let's just see. Hopefully that pops up right here. Fabricum. Uh, we'll get the uh, the coffee mug that we use all the time right here. And north location, we're going to get 50 in. And so I just go ahead and uh, release it right here. 
and then go ahead and create a warehouse receipt just like we've done before so it creates a warehouse receipt header and if i take a look at this um, it's coming into the receiving so in the receiving bin right here because that's where we receive stuff so that's great now we actually have bins now i'm going to go ahead and post this acknowledge that we received this uh, and get it into the receiving so it posts and <clears throat> now i'm actually going to create a put away so i'll close this out uh, and go into first i'm just gonna go into the warehouse put aways um, now here in this screen we should get a put away instruction to put things away into the uh, into the actual storage because it's sitting in a receiving bay but I'm going to do that using a worksheet so I'll go in here go to put away uh, worksheet and I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the receipt that I just created so here I could have gotten actually multiple receipts uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and create a put away. And I create it for this. Um, it's complaining that it's not enough capacity for the items. That might be because of my put away template. Let me just uh, go into the put away template and make sure that's correctly set up. Let me see. I have floating. I'll just like that uh, because it's not empty so this should be enough so I was looking for an empty bin but I don't think I have an empty bin right now um, let's just go ahead and try this Oops. put away template So I'm finding a fixed bin, same item, then finding a floating bin, which is empty, and then just a floating bin. Actually, let me just put a description here. Um, maybe it did not save. Yep, now oh, it worked. That's kind of odd. Um, and I should uh, go into this a little bit. Uh, this is a good learning point. Uh, put away template. So when it's actually putting away, it's trying to find the right bin to put it in. Now I actually have one bin, so it should be fairly simple. But here it's looking for a fixed bin for a particular item, which I didn't set anything up uh, to be. You know with the with the same item or fixed bin that's like fixed in a rack space uh, then if it doesn't find that it looks for a floating bin that's empty which can be anywhere and it's empty and then it can't find that it'll look for a floating bin that is not empty and i think it that's where it actually stopped and it found my bin i had something in that it's basically my storage bin my storage bin is floating so we're going to do a separate video definitely on these checkboxes and I thought I had them correctly set up, but it was giving me an error and we solved that. So if I go into my putaways, take a look at what it did create. Uh, it creates one putaway right here. And if I take a look at that, it's telling me, okay, I've got to take the product from the receiving and put it into the storage. The storage bin so if i go ahead and say register that i register that put away and now it's in and now i can go into my bin contents and here i have storage <coughs> and i got a hundred inside my storage in bin contents